Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, what I have here is a Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and in this video, I'm gonna do a quick demonstration of the adaptive 120 hertz refresh rate on the Note 20 Ultra. So let's dive in and get started right away. So here's the phone. I'm gonna go into my settings. All right, let's tap on settings, and then I'm gonna scroll over to the uh, display right there. And then I'm going to go down a little bit. And as you can see, we have the motion smoothness option. We have the option to go between 60 and 120, but the 120 is the adaptive. Now, if I go with standard and click apply, I can go into the screen resolution and I can pick the highest resolution possible that's available at 60 hertz only. Now, if I go back to motion smoothness and try to go to adaptive 120 hertz, refresh rate i can't do it because it is in fact locked but if i do full high definition plus then it becomes available and i can do it again go to motion smoothness and choose adaptive which is going to automatically adjust your refresh rate up to 120 hertz it could be for anything from 1 to 120 so that's going to actually save you some battery life so we have a lower battery capacity on the Note 20 Ultra as opposed to S20 Ultra. It's 4,500 milliamp hours, but with this adaptive uh, refresh rate, it is gonna save battery. Now, some people may think this is a downgrade over the S20 Ultra that allows for a fixed full-time 120 hertz refresh rate as opposed to one that varies from one to 120, but this technology will extend battery and it is seamless. So you won't notice any lowered refresh rate when using the phone, it's gonna feel just as smooth as the S20 Ultra, which has the full-time 120 option. And here's just a quick uh, look at the rest of the phone. Uh, let's go into the uh, settings real quick. And as you can see, we are running One UI 2.5. If I go to software information, you can see it on the top right over there, okay? So One UI 2.5, Android 10. And then let's see what else we have on the top. We also have that wireless DeX functionality on the top corner, as you can see. If I click it, it's gonna ask me uh, to pick a TV to connect to wirelessly. It says send DeX to your TV, and I can pick from a list of any TV that I want that supports wireless uh, casting, all right? So that would be the wireless DeX functionality. All right, so that was a quick video. Any questions, comments, or concerns, just drop them down below and let me know. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button, and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.